Goyat Q2 refers to a genetic cluster identified from remains found in Goyat Cave, Belgium, dating to the Magdalenian period, 17, 000, 12, 000 years ago. The site is one of the most important Upper Paleolithic archaeological locations in Europe, containing remains from different prehistoric cultures, including Aurignacian and Magdalenian. The Goyat Q2 genetic cluster is associated with the Magdalenian culture, which emerged in Western and Central Europe after the last glacial maximum. The Magdalenian people were highly specialized hunter-gatherers, known for their advanced tools, artistic expressions, and reoccupation of previously abandoned areas as glaciers retreated. QP admixture analysis of Goy Q2 reveals it to be of Aurignacian descent with significant Western hunter-gatherer specific drift. Goyat Q2 played a major role in shaping the later Western hunter-gatherer, WHG, genetic lineage, which dominated much of post-Ice Age Europe. This cluster contributed significantly to Iberian Mesolithic hunter-gatherers, though they retained some genetic distinctiveness from Central European WHG populations. The Goyat Q2 cluster formed part of the genetic ancestry of later WHG groups, including those found in France, Germany, and the Balkans. However, WHG populations were also shaped by additional genetic input from other post-LGM European hunter-gatherer groups, namely the Epigravedians. The skeletal remains associated with Goy, Q2 suggest a robust hunter-gatherer population well adapted to cold climates. Isotopic analysis of Magdalenian individuals from sites like Goyat Cave indicates a high reliance on animal protein, including large game like reindeer and horses. Some evidence suggests occasional consumption of aquatic resources. For this video, I gathered the raw DNA of Goyat Q2 and ran it through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis. Here is its predicted phenotype. He is predicted to have brown eyes, black hair color, light to dark brown skin tone, kinky hair, and a Greek nose shape. He had a predisposition to less D2 receptor sites, low odds of autism, low odds of autoimmune disease, low odds of cardiovascular issues, larger nose size, and blood type A or O. He had high odds of exfoliation glaucoma, Alzheimer's, and prostate cancer, and low to average risk for every other condition. He carried rare risk variants for Parkinson's disease. Here is what he scores with Eurogenes K13. Here is what he scores with Eurogenes K10. You can purchase his raw DNA in 23andMe format from link which is in the description of the video, along with tools and services offered by Andre DNA such as Trait Predictor Executable, QP Admixture Analysis, FST Analysis, and a custom ethnicity calculator based on FST. Don't forget to leave a like and share.